All right, let's talk about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Mobile. We all know that feeling of frying opponents in a rank match, only to find out all of your teammates went negative and lost the game because you didn't have any help whatsoever from your teammates. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, before I get into the video, I know I haven't uploaded in a while and I apologize for that. But the main reason for my inactivity is actually the topic of today's video, skill-based matchmaking. This is a term used to describe how a game's algorithm matches players up against each other. I've been so demotivated to play ranked recently because of this feature right here. In Call of Duty, the idea behind skill-based matchmaking is to place you in lobbies with players of a similar skill level. Skill-based matchmaking is meant to be a good thing, by design, it's supposed to give you fun but challenging multiplayer experiences, but this just isn't the case. Not only for me, but many other players too. And it's not only in this game either, but in various other Call of Duty titles. All it takes is one scroll on Twitter, or any other platform for that matter, and search up skill-based matchmaking in COD, and it's just everybody complaining about it. Here are a couple of tweets I found regarding skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Mobile. Here's the first tweet I found. It says, make skill-based matchmaking based on KD plus wins, please. I'm tired of 1v5 in rank when I'm just trying to chill and play the game and I have teammates going 0 and 17. Like, bro, I agree with you. It's so annoying. You do well for a couple of games and then all of a sudden you're matched up with pro players and your team is just doing nothing to help you out on the objective or getting kills. It feels really unfair to be weighed down by terrible teammates, even when you're doing well and you have a good KD ratio. It's just annoying. And I just feel like this isn't the way skill-based matchmaking is meant to work. The next tweet I found says, I feel like skill-based matchmaking is basically Call of Duty noticing you have a good KDA in rank and then they try to compensate by pairing you up with brain dead players in order to bring you down. Notice how everybody is mentioning brain dead teammates. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one, I swear. I'm not just talking out of my ass. Everyone else is going through it just like I am. The next tweet here says, the way skill-based matchmaking works in Call of Duty Mobile makes me not want to touch rank at all. That and the meta right now is making me not even want to touch the game in general. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Because I feel you, bro. I feel you. Also, if you notice in one of the replies, one of the people said, bro, I lose one game in Call of Duty Mobile and it just pairs me up with the bottom of the barrel type players. Why does it do that? Stop trying to level up my KD. If I'm doing well and my KD is high and I'm winning loads of matches in a row, match me with players who have similar KD and similar win streaks. Don't match me with bottle of the barrel teammates. It's just not fair. <laughs> Another tweet I found said, Just had a game where two teammates dropped a nuke. Call of Duty score-based matchmaking has reached a new low. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Two teammates dropping a nuke. Like, how is that skill-based matchmaking? I don't understand. All right, so this is the last tweet I grabbed. If you want to go on Twitter yourself or any other social media platforms and look at skill-based matchmaking in general, there are a lot of people who have spoken about it. These are just a few of the ones I found and wanted to speak on. This one says, Yeah, I did have matches where I played great and we still lost. The whole skill-based matchmaking thing is just not it. They keep matching me with the same people who are not good, where they camp and they spam a lot, as well as barely do any OBJ. Ranked hasn't been feeling good for about half a year. So yeah, man, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not the only one who's going through this. A lot of other players are experiencing the flaws of skill-based matchmaking. And we all just want to play games where, you know, it's competitive. Of course, that's what we want. But we don't want to be matched up with teammates who aren't at our skill level because then that's just going against what skill-based matchmaking is meant to be. We shouldn't have a high KDA one game and then all of a sudden I'm now losing hella games because my teammates are trash. That isn't how it's meant to be. It should be a constant stream of matches where everybody is around the same skill level. So it's competitive, but it's also fun and you don't get bored. You don't get matched with bad teammates and you don't play against bad players. But you're also not facing players who are way better than you at the game. So you get stomped on and you can't enjoy the game at all. But I guess that's just how it is, man. The general idea behind skill-based matchmaking is good, but the way it's implemented is definitely flawed. What I've noticed with my personal rank experience is that I almost never match up with any teammates at my own skill level. I find myself constantly top fragging the whole game, carrying my team with a four plus kill death ratio, capping all the flags for my team in domination and still losing the game because of my brain dead teammates. Here are some screenshots I found in previous videos where I lightly touched upon skill based matchmaking and its flaws. So this is the first screenshot, 46 kills from me, 11 deaths and six captures. Now let's look at my teammates. 15 and 18, not terrible, but he's got eight caps, so he's playing OBJ. And he didn't go too negative, but then nine and 14, 10 and 19, two and 21, come on. 
What kind of skill-based matchmaking is that? I have a 4KD with a 24% accuracy and then look at my teammates. And I just look at the opponent's team. 23 and 12, okay, he went positive. 15 and 19, 24 and 13, 8 and 21, 11 and 18. And the top player on their team only had one cap. So it's like, I'm facing opponents like this. Well, I'm completely destroying the opponent's team and my teammates can just, they just can't keep up. And this isn't the type of teammates I'm meant to be matched with. It should be more even on the scoreboard on both sides, but it clearly isn't. There's a definitive top player here and my team loses and I suffer because teammates can't help out. All right, so in this next game, I went 41 and 17. However, I did only capture one flag, so I did not play OBJ. But I know for a fact, whenever I play games like this, it's usually me when I'm spawn trapping. And as you can see from the scoreboard again, 21 and 19. Okay, he went positive and dropped five caps, so that's all right. 13 and 24. 11 and 22 0 and 4 somebody dropped zero kills and this is master 5 this is like before we had grandmaster in the game as you can tell by like the old style of logo and look at my opponents 24 and 20 23 and 16 16 and 22 14 and 23 15 and 13 so it's clear who's dominating the other team but yet <laughs> i don't get the win i don't get the dub because my teammates just can't keep up with me and this isn't to bring my teammates down but we're just not at the same skill level so we shouldn't be in the same lobbies um this is the last screenshot i could find from one of my previous youtube videos this is grandmaster 2 47 and 7 yeah 6.71 kd ratio 23 percent accuracy 21 percent headshot now look at my teammates 16 and 18 11 and 20 11 and 14 however he did capture 11 flags so i'm i'm down to give him the benefit of the doubt 11 and 15 with four caps now look at the opponents 21 and 15 14 and 22 18 18 11 and 17 9 and 24 so it's very clear that i am much better than my my teammates are much better than the players on the other team but i still lose because of skill based matchmaking if i had teammates that were on my skill level we'd easily dominate this lobby or you know if i just had <laughs> like i don't know what to say really because if i'm dropping 47 kills and no one else on my team can even drop 20 kills why are we even in the same lobby we shouldn't be in the same lobby none of my opponents could drop higher than 20 kills except the top but he went 21 and 15 which is only one kill above 20 and i'm dropping 47 with seven deaths so you can kind of see why I complain a lot about this because I'm playing with teammates who aren't at my skill level and this shouldn't be the case. Maybe these opponents are at my skill level but I'm just better than them. I don't know but it gets kind of long. It gets kind of annoying. I'm frustrating to deal with this on a daily basis when trying to play ranked. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I know it was a little different from the usual gunsmith videos and ranked gameplay, but I wanted to try something new. You know, I'm trying to experiment a little bit with the content on the channel. I want to branch out and diversify my content a little bit so you guys aren't too bored of the same style of content. I don't want the content on my channel to be too repetitive, if you get what I mean. This was more of a commentary style video, you know, just talking and discussing topics in Call of Duty Mobile. And it was a lot of fun to make and to edit so i hope it was worth the watch if you did by any chance enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like on this video and comment something nice as well it would be really really appreciated be sure to leave some feedback too should i make more videos like this on the channel and if so what should i discuss next and how can i improve these types of videos please let me know in the comments i want to make the best type of content for you guys so giving feedback on these videos is greatly appreciated if this video hits 40 likes then i'll definitely continue this style of video in the future so be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed don't worry i'll still be uploading my normal gunsmith videos and ranked gameplay in the meantime but it'll be nice to have more than one series ongoing on the channel also subscribe to the channel if you're new here so you don't miss any new uploads we're currently on the road to 2000 subscribers so each new subscriber is greatly appreciated but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one